Leah. I know it's been a long time since I vlogged. I thought I'd sort of get back into the flow with sort of a mashup of all the, you know, popular tags that I really like on YouTube right now. So we're gonna start with what's in my bag. So my bag is really dirty. To use with a good wash. Um, it was designer at one point. I think it's just dirty now. It's a sports sack. No, I'm only going to show you a few things that's in my bag because this is a sampling. One, I've got a passport because I don't drive and I'm 21 now, so this is what I used to get into bars. Um, I've got some birth control pills and I've also got some condoms because you should always use, use two forms of birth control. You know, this case at a sex store was advertised as a condom holder. Everywhere else I see this advertised as a business card holder, so what do you value more? Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to show you in my purse. So now we're going to be doing the TMI tag and Paul's going to be asking me some questions. Yay! Any tattoos? Yes! Ta-da! I have one. <laughs> Piercings, do you have any? I do. I have one, two, this is new, three, four, five, six, seven. I just want to point out that you looked at your fingers. <laughs> What's the book you're currently reading? I am reading A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin. Yay! It's the second A Song of Ice and Fire book. I'm on page 609. In most books, that would be like done. I'm only a little bit, a little bit over halfway through. This has a lot of pages, um, a lot of glossaries too. Six. This has 967 pages, so still got a ways to go, and then several more books. What is your favorite piece of jewelry? Okay, this is actually really difficult for me because I really like jewelry, but my favorite piece of jewelry is going to have to be this ring. It was given to me by my cousin Erin. It used to be my mom's. Uh, it's, it's cracked right now, but I'm going to get that fixed as soon as possible. The next thing is that sort of makeup favorites tag I see a lot of makeup people doing. Uh, my favorite YouTube beauty guru is X Sparkage, and she uses this a lot. It's a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And um, what she uses it for, that I also use it for because I got this idea from her, is as a base for eyeshadow. Yes, I did do my makeup specifically for this vlog. Uh, today, this look was the first time I used this, but it worked exactly like I wanted it to. I bought sort of a knockoff at Walmart before I bought this. I don't know why, it was only $2 cheaper, but for some reason I wanted it now. Um, but it wasn't as pigmented as I wanted, so this is marvelous, and this is what I wanted. Um, the other thing, another thing, that I like is this lipstick, lipstick pen. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's kind of berry-ish. Next was my first trip to Sephora. I also got this at Sephora. Um, I said I wanted to know more about blush and bronzer and highlighter, which I'm all wearing today. I don't know if you can tell in this light. It's nighttime right now. Um, I got this Naked Urban Decay Flushed Palette, and it has a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush, and it was only $30, and I love it. It's my favorite makeup item right now. So, now we're going to do the boyfriend tag, and I have a romantic partner, so I think we can do that tag. What was your first impression of me? You asked me to go fill up your water glass. That was the first thing that I really, like, noted. I don't know what that says about you or what I thought it said about you. I mean, or if it says anything. More. What did you think it said about me? In that very specific moment, I was like, oh, she... I barely know her. And she's already asking me for refreshment. But you'd fill up my water glass for me later without me even asking you to, so... It's because I'm actually a fish. Do I have any weird obsessions? If so, what? Um, the oove of Meg Cabot. Oove 
of me, Kevin? Yes, her body of work. Good word. Thank you. If I'm watching a TV show, what am I watching? Currently Parks and Recreation. The last week and a half, it's just been like constant background noise in my life. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is one food I don't like? You can't say meat, that's a cop out. Don't do that. No. <laughs> what? You don't like eggs made by me in 2013. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. good. So a lot of my life has changed since I last made a vlog. Um, I live in a beautiful house with my partner. We put a lot of posters on the wall. That's barely any of them. Um, here's some more over here. Wow, that's super blocked. Never mind. Um, this is our music room. We have like a ton of guitars and two ukuleles and a mandolin. Most of these instruments are Paul's, my partner. Um, I only have one guitar, um, one ukulele, and three kazoos. There's also a skull in this room. It goes with my Shakespeare. And I bought this one at the Halloween store last year because it has a fucked up jaw. And I can really relate to that. Skull, dude. I also have a dog. This is Laika. She, I'm not sure how much she's liking being on my lap right now, but I love her so much. She is everything to me. She's about a one and a half year old Australian cattle dog mix. We think she might be a coolie or a kelpie. We don't actually know. She's bigger than most Australian cattle dogs. She's my baby. I'm gonna put her down now. Oh gosh. She must have my hair. Hi, sweetie pie. Bye, sweetie pie. <laughs> Music tag! These questions are for Paul. What is the greatest show you've ever been to? Streetlight Manifesto and A Real Big Fish. Together. See, I saw a Real Big Fish concert, but I didn't know any of their work, so I didn't like it. That was not sign language, that was just... I know. That was just you being expressive. Yeah. What's your favorite movie soundtrack? My favorite movie soundtrack is the soundtrack to The Fountain by Clint Mansell. What's in your CD player right now? Right now? Right now. Right now in my CD player. Um, I don't have a personal CD player, but in the boom box that I use most I frequently, I bought it, is Fashion Nugget by Cake, because listening to the distance makes it easier to do dishes. <laughs> That's right, you did, you did listen to that while you were doing dishes the other day. We should do dishes tonight. We're gonna. Huh. Name four flawless albums. Four flawless albums. Parsley, Sage, Rosemary, and Thyme by Simon Garfunkel. Um, the Hands That Thieve by Streetlight Manifesto. Which acoustic or? The Hands forms? That Thieve which is the full band one. Okay. If I was referring to the solo album by Tokay, I would call it The Hand That Thieves. Oh, that's clever. I never do that. there's only one. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted a kiss. Yeah. 2112 by Rush. Okay. Well done. Well job. Well job. <sighs> Good done. Good done. Okay computer by Radiohead. That one! So I think that's all I have for now. I, I do hope to be making videos more often. Um, I'm sorry I was gone for so long. I've never really been great at consistent video making. Right now, I'm super busy because I'm cast in Midsummer Night's Dream, and I'm an officer of my student theater production company, and I'm taking 15 credit hours, and I have a dog. So that's taking up all my time. I have no time for homework. Um, do you hear the dog in the background? She's very noisy. Uh, anyhow, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.